This is All India Radio, the news read by Naresh Mago. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and new Chinese President Xi Jinping will hold bilateral meeting in Durban today on the sidelines of the BRICS summit. The meeting between the two leaders will reinforce the growing importance that both countries give to each other. President Xi has already struck a positive note with his warm words for Dr. Singh, saying he looked forward to meeting him in Durban. After taking over the presidentship of China on March 14, Xi had unveiled a five-point formula for improving ties with India, proposing accommodation of each other's concerns and proper handling of differences. He had said that peace and tranquility should be maintained and border tensions should not affect the overall development of bilateral ties. Earlier, during his talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said the first nuclear reactor unit of the Kurankulam nuclear power plant in Tamil Nadu will become operational next month. He also conveyed to President Putin that the third and fourth reactors of the project will also be operationalized in due course after securing internal approvals. The nuclear plant is being implemented jointly by the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited and the premier Russian nuclear company Atomstroy Export. Our correspondent covering the BRICS summit reports Dr. Singh and Russian President Vladimir Putin in a very cordial meeting reviewed the entire gamut of strategic relationship between the two countries. Karnataka Chief Minister Jagdish Shetar has recommended expulsion of Excise Minister Renukacharya from the State Cabinet for Anti-Party Activities. Renukacharya was yesterday expelled from the BJP party for a period of six years. New State BJP Chief Prahlad Joshi took the action against Renukacharya saying he had been talking lightly about some state party leaders. Renukacharya, who is considered a close confidant of former Chief Minister B.S. Yediurappa had accused former Chief Minister D.V. Sadhanand Gowda of corruption. In Assam, six persons including three women were killed and three others were injured in a road accident late last night in Dima Hasao district. SP Dima Hasao M.J. Mahanta said that the mishap took place at remote Thingwom village under the Mahur police station. The incident occurred when a mini truck carrying passengers and goods fell down from the hilltop. Holy, the Festival of Colours is being celebrated with religious fervour and gaiety across the country today. The celebrations began with lighting of bonfires last evening. The festival marks the advent of spring. President, Vice President and Prime Minister have greeted the nation on the occasion of Holi. Holi is being celebrated among the large expatriate Indian community in Dubai. Several colourful functions have been organised by the NRI community to meet and greet near and dear ones and the Emirati citizens in Dubai on this occasion. India has approved Sri Lanka's request for removal of fabric sourcing condition and increased the number of garments that can be exported from Sri Lanka to India duty-free under the terms of the bilateral free trade agreement from 5 million to 8 million pieces. The notification for this change was handed over to Sri Lanka's Department of Commerce by the Indian High Commission yesterday. India has also extended the validity period of sanitary import permits for export of meat products to India from six months to one year. These measures are expected to help Sri Lanka in tapping the Indian markets and facilitating exports. Serbia's world number one Novak Djokovic has made a shock exit from the Miami Open tennis tournament. In the biggest upset of the competition, Djokovic was stunned by Tommy Haas of Germany in straight sets 2-6-4-6 in the men's singles pre-quarterfinal fixture. In the women's singles, world number one Serena Williams of the United States and Agnieszka Radwanska of Poland have waltzed into the semi-finals. In the quarterfinals, Serena defeated Na Li of China 6-3-7-6, while fourth seed Radwanska beat Kirsten Flipkins of Belgium 4-6-6-4-6-2. In the other two quarterfinals today, third seeded Russian Maria Sharapova will meet Italy's Sara Irani, while another Italian Roberta Vinci will take on Jelena Jankovic of Serbia. And that is the end of this news bulletin.